Hi, it's Leslie, Sister Wives, and we had a common theme today in the episode, and it was anger. We talk about the, the five stages of grief. Well, they have all catapulted into that second stage, which is anger. They were briefly in denial. I mean, Robin was definitely in denial. Cody was in denial. But they have all just landed smack dab in the middle of anger. I felt angry. I'm angry about Christine leaving the family. I'm angry that she's moving to Utah. I'm angry that she's trying to sell the house. I'm angry that she moved my stuff out. I'm angry that she uh, asked me to leave. I'm angry about a lot of things. So this anger is basically taking over their lives. So we got to enjoy the many faces of anger too. But before I get into all this, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So Christine has returned home with Truly in tow. And I guess it's been, given that she was on vacation, now she's home for a few days. It's been like two plus weeks since Cody has seen his daughter. And he is so pissed off and angry at Christine that he cannot even find himself the place in his heart to go over and see his own child. There you go. I don't want to go over to Christine's house, but I don't have a place for truly. I don't, my, my bedrooms are full. We got to make some kind of arrangement. It doesn't have anything to do with me not wanting to see truly. It's really more about just struggling to be around Christine. And of course he has no room or he doesn't have anything set up. He had two and a half weeks to get this together for his daughter, he knew this was coming, and he still has no place for her to sleep. Why not have those siblings over there just bunk together, get a bedroom for Truly, something could have been done, you had two and a half weeks, all she's doing is staying over there, it could be a day, it could be a couple of days, do something, this is your daughter, Cody, my God. He is letting anger just rule his life and is not a good look, it is not a good look on him. And they just had to jump in and show Mary has a BFF, you know, not one of her sister wives, but another girl, and they're all hanging out, kind of little happy aside from the drama of the family, which is in the crapper. So I guess Robin seems to be the one that's schooled on this whole religion thing, and and you can't just decide your divorce, even if you're not legally divorced. It it, it requires, you know, asking the church and 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 there's there's things you have to do. You can't just get a divorce. It's just not a state of the mind, like like they're assuming. But um, she feels that they should have went to the church and there are meetings and counseling before you're just allowed to get divorced. I'm like, Cody, be careful what you wish for because in no way, he doesn't even want to go over her house. He's not going to want to sit there and have counseling and meetings. So he should just be so happy that Christina's decided to just take the easy road and consider herself to divorce and just press on. The other thing that's interesting, Robin, the all-knowing Robin, um, is that I guess there's a little loophole is that they're considered married in whatever their church's eyes or whoever's eyes until Christine is intimate with another man. You know what? It's time to get back on that horse and ride that saddle. You know what? That's the loophole that she's looking for. She needs to move on with her life and seal that deal with another man. And this was just another, you know, place that I just don't understand Cody and just makes a whole lot of no sense to me. Anyway, so Cody says he no longer considers himself married to Mary. And I'm like, you can just consider it? Wait, you didn't go to the church? You didn't have your counseling? You didn't have your meetings? You're just divorced? That can't be. I feel like we're still married. I don't really consider myself married to Mary. I just, if she wanted to, if she wanted to move on and marry another, she wouldn't get an argument with me. It's like rules for thee, but not for me. And he says, oh, this is so much different. Mary and I, it was, it was just a gradual decline. So they both knew that the marriage was deteriorating. And it was different with Christine because I guess Christine was the only one who knew it was deteriorating, even though Cody had heard that she wanted a divorce for many years and had heard this. So it makes no sense to me, Cody. Once again, I'm calling bullshit on that one. Anyway, this was a quick one. It was just a bunch of pissed off people, pissed off about their lives, their family, their situation. The only happy one was Christine because she's getting out of this mess. And I guess Janelle, because she has love for Christine so she could actually be happier for, for her because she's getting out of the mess. So there you go. But anyway, if you like my recap, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and leave me any comments you had and what you thought of this episode. But um, next week looks like a doozy. Cody's going to give himself a heart attack. But anyway, can't wait. Anyway, I will see you then. Bye.